So Ar Arco Santi is um, what what they did is they set up a bell manufacturing process, and that's bell man bell manufacturing is what financed the whole thing, and still financing the whole thing. So they chose their model. They chose one uh, business, one product per product, yeah, which. The 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 originator we are uh, what's his Paolo Soleri was good at. He was obviously either making bells before he started this, or it's something he knew about, or he's something he wanted to do. But so, but be that as it may, they chose one product and they ran a production line. They set up a production line for it, and um, to this day, it's operating and financing. Uh, Fifty years later, over eight thousand people have put their hands towards building it. 40,000 people come every year to buy bells, to visit the events, to uh, attend workshops. I just signed up for a workshop there on uh, construction and to look at the drawings, to look at the uh, archives, the archives, uh, because I'm very interested in like finding everything I can about this, this, this construction method and drawings that are hidden from the public. I want to see them all. Um, what I'm seeing, okay, uh, is not just like Anastasia community where everybody has one hectare, you know, because first of all, it's quite a bit of land and not everybody can manage a hectare. They, they, they want it because, you know, the neighbors can be far away, but I can talk to them when I want to, but still uh, one hectare generally is not manageable. Uh, Martha has got big piece of land and she's on a lawn mower mowing <laughs> lawn and wherever else. So, so I thought, you know, what if we create something like Arco Santi and we choose a business? Uh, hi, Jay. How's it going? Um, and we choose as our business, uh, you know, like Ford did a Model T. Uh, we choose one home. Uh, the, for starters, you know, one or two designs that um, we can run as a production line. And uh, so in the beginning, we invite people who are interested in bioarchitecture, who uh, may be architects, maybe engineers, uh, landscape gardeners, landscape designers, uh, plumbers, uh, I don't know, whatever is, you know, that's what we're starting with. Uh, but even if people don't have that, uh, like, university knowledge, they might be interested in it. And like, like, like even folk from our um, buy better, uh, you know, community, because people obviously came in because they're interested. In it. So because if you have interest in a subject, you can always learn bits and bobs. It's just the main thing is to have passion. You know, so if we can start with that and then basically have a, a semi dense, uh, uh, various density type of environment. So there'll be like an arco scientist got a three story building where they have like an art gallery, cafe and a space to sell their bells. It's very cool. There's like, I think, five or six or seven ways to get up that thing. It's quite, you know, quite interesting. It's got stairs from this way, from that way. You can climb through round windows. Um, it's got a nice big manufacturing place, which is that arch. And yeah, it's got those vault for huge events, which are protected from elements such as sun and um, I can't say wind because they're right through, but you know, be that as it may, uh, rain and, and sun. And uh, they have obviously the amphitheater where they do, you know, so it's a really great model. But what I'd like to add to that model is uh, possibly having some of these various homes that we build one of these or, or 10 of these and maybe another one of my designs so somebody else comes up with design and we prototype and test out various construction methods. And But we, we pilot one or two models, like a studio and a bigger unit, for example, like a two, three bedroom, I don't know, whatever, you know, don't want to go into details, but like that we just, just team gets in and a week later the home is built. But we refine it so well that like Philip Block, you've been seeing that bridge, correct? How that bridge comes together. I've been showing it like a hundred times, Philip Block. Uh, they print pieces off site, they bring it to site and because they're in compression, no rebar is needed. They just put these blocks on these on this formwork. The formwork gets removed, 
and all these pieces just and they stand in place. Now imagine if we really ramp up the speed and we can have a similar system for the floor where all the um, ducts for air, for plumbing, for electrical, they're all already printed and they get put together and it's like, a guy puts on uh, augmented reality glasses and he can immediately see, oh, uh, gray water here. Uh, you know, so not like figuring it out every time, new story, what do we do? It's like we want to, like Americans are very good at this, like just putting it on a sausage factory. You know what I mean? So you put augmented reality glasses, all your channels and everything there, you quickly with the glasses put the pipes and chick, 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 and uh, boom, or, or first day, all the piping, electrical, everything is in, and the floor just gets poured. The concrete truck comes or whatever, or clay truck, wh whatever, and the thing just gets poured, and it's it's all it's it's all good to go. And then obviously the the the, the arches uh, the gets on the second day. Uh, there's a formwork that goes up, and uh, you know, um, uh, for example, the the corners, the pieces that touch the ground those could be from wells you know those cylinders i think they're one like four foot or five foot uh, four foot diameter cylinders thin concrete and then they use as a formwork we put them down with poor uh concrete or whatever so it's like a hard leg that can't move like a footing like three four five of them and then and then from that the thing gets uh built or that thing gets poured first, so it has time to dry. So I'm thinking something really, really, really fast. Obviously, cement needs time to dry. Maybe we have some tension uh, things underneath the floor to keep the legs from, you know, because it's an arch. So, you know, the yeah. So whilst the cement is drying, we could, or we use less cement. We just use a plating, tension plating underneath. I, I don't know, you know, I don't want to, go into details, but basically we have a Model T, like Ford Model T that we can just do them literally in millions, these homes, even if it's just one size for now, we just uh, ramp it up and we, that's how we make money. And the money gets put back into the community so we can build, so we can get our own 3D printers. So imagine like a, a, just a year later, we already have our own cafe, which serves green juices, um, you know, like uh, nice raw food that's uh, uh, assisting the body. Maybe even we have some fish, like a pond with fish. I'm open for that. Some good aquaculture system. Why not? We have natural pool to swim and train. We have our own uh, gym. Uh, so, so, so all the researchers and people that work there, they already fed with quality food, like that living food, organic. And of course, there's something for the children, which is that educational center, which I already have a whole proposal. It's in Russian, but you can go to that site. I'll, I'll send a link now and you can just Google translate. Uh, I'll be typing it now. Um, so there's obviously everything is also built for the kids. So moms, single uh, or families can come with their children. There's something for the children there, like a no schooling type of laboratory where they learn about you know, hands-on biology, hands-on laws of physics, science, and 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 we breed geniuses there, you know. And obviously there is the spiritual work, and the spiritual work is completely different to anything you know out there. Spiritual work, just to touch on it, I'll be talking more about it tomorrow, is basically you're the creator of your reality. There's no dark forces out there. If you believe in objective reality with dark forces out there, you have it, okay? You'll have factual proofs that it is like that. And you say, look, Alosha, but I told you. Yes, it will each to their belief, okay? What you believe in forms your reality. So if you believe in an objective reality, you will have it. But uh, I have one question for you. Just to prompt the spiritual work, obviously we'll be doing more on it. A lot will be focusing tomorrow on it. But if your beliefs are making you happy and your body is healthy, you are prosperous, you know, you, 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 you're thriving, you know, you've got love pouring from your heart, you, you feel good. Most of the time you feel good. Of course, there's downers. I had a little downer today. I even had a tobacco today, which I probably had 
you know, two months ago, you know, so it's not something, you know, so we get into our down. I'm not saying that we just angels, you know, all angels probably elsewhere now, <laughs> but the main thing that I'm trying to say, listen to this phrase. If your rare, if your beliefs are making you happy and you're thriving, then go for it. You're on a good path. Your body's healthy. I've got nothing else to say, but if your beliefs are making you ill, if your beliefs are making you unhappy, depressive thoughts, uh, drugs, alcohol, and everything else, then why do you believe in them? Because they, your beliefs don't have to be that. They can be anything. So with that, I want you to really deeply think about it because uh, it's a completely, it's a game changer because everybody's running around saying Camilla Harris, Trump, well, when Trump gets there, everything will get better. That type of thinking is, 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 is no longer applicable in, in our, you know, we want to move away from that thinking. So the spiritual work will be shown and we will be birthing gods within people. And this community will be built for gods. The byproduct, the, 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 after that, that happens, people stop getting ill because they realize that they desire, they're creating their own sicknesses. Literally, uh, with your beliefs. Like I was creating my own poverty uh, with the beliefs of um, rich people are, are usually liars because that's what my mom told me. They, 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 yeah, and the evil ones are usually the richest ones in the world, first belief. Um, second belief that I have to hit a rock bottom to be able to push up against the rock bottom. Yeah, second belief. It's, it's a bullshit belief, but it's a belief. Um, third belief that um, I, I, I was scared that if I get a lot of money, I'll... I'll I'll stop going for God and I'll stop praying and I'll go on either cocaine or fly to Las Vegas and I don't know, I don't know, do something silly. You know, that, that was a belief. It's very powerful. It was there, you know. Like I'll just uh I don't know, buy buy a Ferrari and go go shag ladies left, right, and center. That you know, th th there was a worry about it. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Um so it's beliefs like that that were forming my reality and that kept it keeping me poor. And that's why in my dialogue with uh, Jesus Christ, which is not anything religious, it's not a guy on the cross, but it's an operating system of someone who we created. It could have been Buddha, it could have been Krishna, it could have been anything, but in a galactic, somewhere out there, up there, they sat down <laughs> and they chose Jesus Christ as a point of agreement because the Muslims already believe in him. Uh, um, Jewish people already have him as an apostle. Uh, Christians believe in Catholics, Orthodox. So they took Jesus Christ as the, just a code word, as this, as this, uh, 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 you know, and they made him into this real thing, okay, which is a brother, uh, an elder brother, uh, um, and someone that can take us out of any shithole that we got ourselves into. And basically, they communed, come, come. What is it on Sundays we do? Commune? Yeah, commune. commune. They commune every, every single God to him. Now, Krishna, because they were, they were all entities that people created with their thoughts, beliefs. They even commune the, the Jesus Christ on the, on the cross, the, the entity that people created with their beliefs. So now there's one operating system called Isus Christos, which is Jesus Christ in Russian. And by asking that uh, <clears throat> code word, that operating system, we basically implant the, this thing, this, this, this operating system in us, which, um, which is this ultimate human that we all want to be, you know, uh, caring, loving, uh, sharp, if need to push off a bully or you know it's this ultimate uh it's this ultimate human god force that we all would love to and strive towards we made him that okay so about co calling in this code word we and we can have all the answers which basically open up an internal dialogue meaning right now 
anybody that listens to this prayer that we did two, three weeks ago and I posted on my YouTube channel, you, ca you connect to this operating system and you open up an internal dialogue. You don't need to talk to me. You don't need to ask anyone anything any longer. You go inside and you ask yourself, uh, Jesus Christ, after you do this, this prayer that uh, I've, sh I've shared and I'll share it again, you just ask Jesus Christ, what do I need to realize about this sickness? Um, okay, I don't understand. Explain more. What do you mean? I say, explain more until you get a very, very clear answer of step by step, or the, at least the first step of what you need to do. And then you say, okay, uh, let's say in 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 my case, like, um, okay, so heal this belief, please, Jesus Christ, please heal this belief that I need to hit rock bottom in order to climb up. Okay. I thank you that it's already happened. I mean, and what would take years with psychologists now takes me five minutes and the belief is healed. One, two, three, four, I'm healing beliefs and wrong programs every single day. And um, what I can tell from myself, fears of money gone. I flattened my bank account yesterday, this morning, right now again. Like one dollar, my sister just sent me five hundred dollars. So I accept money from all directions. From all I need to do is is share. That's why I'm here sharing with you, helping, sharing, and just being active to uplift our humankind because we all one entity. Yeah. So if that means if my leg is having a, a some fucking ulcer <laughs> i'm feeling it <laughs> so it's in my interest to get that ulcer out of my leg or my hand or my brain or whatever you know what i mean in order that we all that i feel good so i'm not doing it for you i'm not doing it for him i'm, I'm doing it for myself i want to feel good so every time i either not heal i'm not a savior here i'm not playing a game of a savior i just want you to realize that you're god how you're creating your ailments how you're creating your reality so if, the, if, so if in your reality you don't like something you need to change your beliefs so let's go back to the beliefs so it's your lenses it's the trauma it's what your mom said is what your dad said is what your school teachers said that past lives are not even going there most definitely there and basically what happens is that because your lenses, the way you you formed your beliefs, they your reality shows you factual proofs that that is so. So I, I can't tell you, but uh, Martha, Eric, look, it's like this. You don't see it. All I can do is lead by example. And if you like, I can help you try and change your filters, your beliefs. Okay. And then your reality have inst in instantly change instantly changes let me give you a story so you don't think this is la la land talk shit whatever i was on a little scooter my friends gave me i drove up this this hill on like a relatively bad road uh, and i got up and then i met a, a guy i knew and i you know i did my meditation first i i swam in the river i was in okay state no i was relatively fine i'd say and he comes up to me and says oh. and he looks around my aura or like around me he says look what you've pulled on yourself like like all these entities are all over you and for because i didn't have enough strength inside my heart at that moment in, with god or just enough power enough love you know i believed him i'm like oh my god what, what you know it's like this guy is telling me that I've got entities all over my body. I, I must have, like, you know, some shit around me. Guys, 30 seconds later, <laughs> it's like slow motion. There is a car driving around. I'm standing on a, a, I just pulled my bike a little bit into the road, but a little bit. He was driving very slowly around me. And with his back tire, he touches onto the plastic of my little, little uh, scooter. That's it doesn't even break my little plastic. So it's not even, so he drove into me, didn't break anything. And the next thing, there's four doors open and four men get out and they're like, they're looking for trouble. 
So I jump, I, I'm already on my scooter. I hit it and I fucking drive. I drive as fast as I can. And they go after me. And the road is bad. And they're like nearly destroying their car. They're angry. They get past me. Obviously, they're full speed. They're much faster than me. They overtake me. They stop. They, they, I turn around. I go back up. And then uh, they, they turn around. They, they reach me. They stop in front of me. They open the doors. They run out. They're running after me. I turn around in my little scooter. I jump r- right down. They're gunning after me. I'm fucking scared shitless. This was what? July this, this year. And eventually I just rammed into the forest and I hid there and I waited for an hour shitting myself, you know, and eventually I, you know, got out of there. And uh, that just shows you how quickly your reality changes. Um, a good movie to ex- to explain what I'm talking about is uh, it's a nine series by Apple Originals that came out, I think this year, maybe in America earlier, uh, called Dark Matter, where there's this box and they go into this box and they take this um, some med- medical thing, inject that they switch on their front lobe, switch off their front lobe. And this box is like a Faraday case. So it doesn't have any external you know, interferences. And as soon as they take this, um medic medicate medic like injection uh this box just has this <laughs> multiple doors and what they realize is what they thought what they think about before they open the door is what they have so various um, realities are coexisting of that chicago that we're doing in chicago a chicago where it's under flood a chicago that's got the his wife but she's sick uh, like infinite amount of the same reality so there's a reality right now existing of me being a bum under a bridge in los angeles because that was my biggest fear and there's a reality of me sitting uh, with you chatting right now and there's a reality of me being a billionaire in dubai because that was my wish the other day because i just want to like you know i just want to sponsor the city that i've been talking to you about just now you know, and everything else in between. And the only thing that separates us from all these realities that are existing right now, existing already, is the amount of energy that you have in your heart, the amount, amount of love, amount of this, this life force, yeah? So uh, that's basically, in a nutshell, why the spiritual work is very important. Um, because manipulation stop. People stop manipulating. People stop pointing fingers. There's no, I cannot hurt Martha. If Martha gets pissed off with something I said, that means it says it's something inside you, Martha, that's that's unfixed or that is hurting you that you see in me. And that's why it's prompting you that, you know what I mean? If you don't have that, you, you wouldn't even heard this phrase or it wouldn't even bothered you. But I might say something like, painful so but it's not my issue uh, that you're hurt from my words it's uh and it's not your issue I- either it's your work and your work is your well-being uh your your joy so you don't even look at it as work you look at it as your joy to fix those uh beliefs and whatever else so you don't get triggered by um you know so there's no such thing as others anymore there's no such thing as objective reality there's no such thing as others. There's you and your reality and your beliefs. That's basically in a nutshell what um, the spiritual works. So I've sent like a little bit of text, not too long. It'll take you 10 minutes to read. Um, and I'm moving all the spiritual work to a separate group. I'll send you the link right now. And um, it's in Telegram, uh, Architecture of Consciousness. So, yeah, I'll sending it in the chat so, so subscribe there and there's five texts very quick ones that you can read that explains it a little bit further any questions you have on what i just said or anything else So can you see how it is uh, absolutely very, very different to what people believe out there? Like even the Christians out there believing in this guy up in the sky that's, you know, that's judging us, that's throwing lightning bolts if we don't if we do something wrong. That's why that religion never went into me. And I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't succumb to it. I couldn't, you know, you know, I just went to churches because I like architecture and, and I went to date as well. But um 
it's not that it's, it's completely opposite you're the creator so you're not a victim so when you start hearing yourself saying they did it or uh the world out so what yeah it means you're on a, on that old path that you know which 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 uh, shows you factually that it is like that but it doesn't have to be like that you change your beliefs your reality changes instantly within 30 seconds so beliefs that we need to work hard for money that's another one i had no i don't and seven my, my, look at my stories in telegram i had so much fun travel the country uh in my off-road uh old school vehicle that i paid five thousand dollars it's paid off long ago you know i it's cheap to fix because obviously very old school and I just traveled uh, a living joy <laughs> out of myself and with myself throughout mountains. I slept in hotels. I slept in, my, in, in out in the nature, like without even a tent. I slept in the tent. I just had so much fun and I didn't do any work. Nothing, nothing. I just enjoyed myself. And somebody was sending me donations. Some guy said, here's another interesting story. I was wanting to travel south and then I stopped at this old home that I have, um, you know, because it's nobody's going to kick me out of it and I divorced. So where else do I go? So I went to this home um, just to check it out and spend maybe a week there uh, or, or even quick, just also I could divorce from there because me and my ex-wife were both allocated to that home. So it's quicker to divorce apparently. Anyway. Uh, and boom, the money stopped coming and I'm in my car packed and I want to go south relocating, you know, and I can't go because I couldn't go because uh, there's no cash <laughs> and I can't go with like $10, start traveling you know, 2000 miles, obviously. So I knew with this work that first you do this, you, 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 you get. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 That Salute. means I'm speaking the truth. So I, yeah. need, I need to fix this first into a good wellness state, bliss or high energy. And then the reality just bends accordingly. Yeah. Not the other way around. The other way around where I try and go for reality whilst I have a panic attack inside my heart brought me to a fucking dead end where I lost uh, uh, everything I built. Seven homes, um, land, money, 15, 15 bitcoins. Like everything, lost everything because panic attack here. Very pretty what I was doing externally, but was not happy, was burning, suicidal thoughts, depression and so on. And with that, it just, your reality folds the other way around. So that didn't work. I brought to dead end and uh, it brought me to dead end. So I knew first I need to work with this, a well-being here. Very specific, heart chakra here. And, you know, it's nothing to do with chakras or anything, just a well-being in, in this area. Yeah. Uh, and then everything else. Uh, I didn't have proof that it works. I mean, I felt good. Uh, every time I prayed, I felt better. But where's the cash, Joe? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and uh, I unpacked the car. I had food to eat. So, you know, I wasn't worried about it. And I just started praying. I didn't even have internet access. I have an online business academy and I didn't even have internet access at the, at the, in that village. Uh, so I had walks, cold water, and a prayer. That's all I had. Um, so I started walking, dumping cold water on me in the mornings and, and, and praying. And Lord behold, in 24 hours... Ah, and there's one thing I did. I not accept, I agreed that my financial situation is that at the moment. I agreed for the time being that I'm staying here for a month until I get myself well in here. And I utterly, with my entire body, believed that what I'm telling you with this good state of inner, good inner state of being is going to work. I believed it. I put everything down. I put my life. I put all my money, which I didn't have any at the time. And I put uh, everything on it. Like just 
I didn't have anything else. My wife is gone. My son told me he wants, he told me in the past, he wants to murder me uh, with a knife. You know, like I didn't have anything. I put everything down on this belief in this belief. And 24 hours later, I had a donation of a thousand dollars. And from that day on, money just started coming like this. And I was able to travel and I had this amazing time. And every time I flattened my bank account to zero, about $300 pulls in every single time, about $300. No more, no less. $300 comes in every time I flatten my account to zero. That's the belief I have now. I want to try and get that one zero up, but that's what's happening right now. I flattened my account today and my sister just gave me $500. So something's obviously changing. Um, guys, this is a game changer. I'm not doing any work. Yeah, I did this design because I had, uh, that just came to me. Yeah. Um, and I'm planning a workshop that'll happen in five months time. I can't milk it now, you know. Uh, I was doing a decoration. I started doing decoration, which is something I I uh, did uh, with my business previously. I'll show you a laser cut version of it from 10 years ago. So this is a comeback. And here's I'm detailing it out. So this is all going to be laser cut out of fabric. Again, it's not something that's going to bring me money right now. Uh, you know, I need to put it, I need to manufacture it. I need to put it on production line. And I'm busy writing, uh, typing out a concept for uh, an investor for building of the city that I was explaining to you earlier on, a little my, my Arco Santi, whatever we're going to call it. So all I'm doing is just sharing, doing what I love, sharing like I'm doing today on Zoom, and trusting that God will take care of me. And knowing that God is sitting right here. It's not a guy up in the sky. We created him. Do you understand? We created Jesus Christ. God did not exist for me before, in, before April this year. When I hit rock bottom, I put a rope on my neck and I tried to pull it to commit suicide. Uh, the next day, the rope was thrown like 50 feet away and there wasn't even any wind. It was a thick rope. So obviously God didn't want me to go. And at that moment, I cried out words, God help me. Before that, I was going without God. And at that very second, I created God for myself. So universe is this dark matter with nothing there. And our beliefs make things, make realities happen. So we are gods. We make galaxies. We build galaxies. So whatever we believe in, we create. There's this emptiness out there. So with that... I've created God and now I joined this team of folk that made me realize that it works like this. Um, like I explained to you, there's no objective reality. You are a creator of your own reality. And in fact, there is in 2022 research cubism. I'll type it now. Cubism. They just uh, gave a Nobel prize to, I don't know who, in 2022, who proved that you're the, uh, uh, the uh, it goes something like this. Um, you're the agent of your reality. In other words, create of your reality. And in your reality with the highest probability will happen that what you will put uh, money on, like big money, like whatever, like the most important. For Russian people, it's usually life. For Westerners, it's usually money. So that's the difference. But generally like something of very very high value yeah so uh that means there is no objective reality they've just proven it on quantum physics so the stuff i'm telling you is already proven by science yeah and the the good news is the the way when i used to believe in an objective reality this dark world out there with camilla harris and biden and 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 illuminati and um, reptiloids and all that other bullshit which uh, with our thoughts we create, by the way, um, no longer exists for me. There is nothing out there that can hurt me unless I want to hurt myself. So it's a game changer because I'm a creator of my reality. There's, not, there's no darkness out there. So I've lost all my fears. I've lost fears of loneliness. I've lost fears of um, money less. 
being poor. It's not pleasant. I'm not going to say I'm, you know, but but it's not like I was freaking out. I, you know, even if I go and fast for seven days and if I don't have food to eat and I fast for seven days, it'll be great. Much needed uh, and, and overdue. Uh, but at the same time, I don't freak out about it anymore. You know, I start to dig. I start to dig. I start asking questions. God, what, why? Why did I create this poverty? Why did I flat? Why? 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 And show me the new third. So if I have that belief, I fix that belief. I fix that belief. I fix. Show me the new. With every belief, show me the new third. And the new third, for example, of um, fear that I need to be uh, that I need to be broke in order to be spiritual. And that's not just you, you can resonate. I'm sure it's a very uh, in, in out there, many, many, many people believe in it. That uh, you know, so the spiritual, spiritual, the more spiritual you are, the more broke you are. That's correct. It's like an out there belief. Yeah. Now I said, what's the new third? And I get this: the more money I have, the more I can spread uh, the message of God, the message of love to people on the planet. Because then I can jump on a plane. I can go to America, I can buy a tiny trailer house, I can do a tour, I can make bring a speaker, I can buy DJ equipment, I can DJ some songs and touring America and sharing the new new types of prayer which awaken the creator within you. So, you know, so look, I'm rewriting a belief, can you see? As soon as I rewrite a belief, money, my sister just said to me, here, here's $500. It wasn't there. As soon as I rewrote the belief in my operating system and with, with this Jesus Christ operating system, it happens much, much, it, it, it's instantaneous. Five years of, I was doing five years of psych, I was a psychologist. Uh, uh, and it, I came also to dead end because you work through one thing, two things, you cut one head off, two pop up, you cut two, four pop up. It's like a never ending story. The more you dig, the more shit to dig there is. Uh, because there is a collective and you know we're all one so you trying to heal yourself you actually like you know you know what i mean so it's a never-ending story so you just you, you you rewrite your beliefs and that's the only way to do it when with your new beliefs and your new lenses your reality changes instantaneously this flat that i'm sitting in is another miracle here's another great story my dad donated this to my sister when before he passed and I was so pissed off at her because she didn't want to sell it. She, you know, to split it between me, my brother, and my sister. You know, it's a typical story out there when people pass away and they give to this one and they don't give to the other. It's like causes big havoc. And it did in, in my life. For three years, uh, and then in August, this August, she came from California. My mom came from South Africa. I met with my mom and my sister was like, no, I'm not meeting her. She's banned. I didn't even speak to her on my phone. There's such, so, well, there was so much aggression and, and everything. And then I thought, well, if I'm doing the spiritual work, how can I be like pissed off with my sister? Like then this spiritual work is useless. So I took a deep breath and I said, I ran her up and I said, uh, Natasha, I don't want this flat to be in between us. Wherever you've done or not done, I love you. And I want to come and visit you because she came from California. She was in Moscow. So I met her and my mom. We had a great, great day together. And guess what? <laughs> That day, her tenant that was renting this flat for nine years phoned her and says he's moving out tomorrow. And the next day, the next day, I had keys to a two hundred thousand dollar flat in Moscow. My mom is in South Africa. My sister is in uh, California. My brother has got a huge five thousand hectare farm where he doesn't need anything. So I'm in it. That that that's how it happens. It was uh, it was instantaneous because every time I came to Moscow before I I rent it was what two hundred twenty dollars. No, yeah, no, like thirty dollars a day I was renting. You know, which is a bit for me, for our um, you know, for Russian for Russians. Um, so that's that's some that's basically it. Um, well, there's a lot more, and we'll dive into it tomorrow. And I'll be repeating some things, and we'll unravel more. 
Um, but ultimately, there is a prayer that you all need to listen to. And I think you should do it. I'll, I'll send you the link uh, right away. And maybe uh, you guys can just listen to it um, after you get off the call or whenever you want to. Um, I have a channel that I put all the English prayers, but I'll be posting it into this Telegram group as well. Um, but here. Yeah. If you want to listen to the whole lecture, uh, you can, uh, but uh, this is just the prayer. It's 16 minutes. And the sign that it works, so you if you start yawning, that means it's work working because your neurons are ripping old ones, new ones are restructuring, and obviously oxygen is needed for, for this. And uh, you'll start yawning a lot. That means it's still working. So when we do processes with other friends from our star family, Radamir, we all yawn constantly. But uh, basically, step one to do a communion to, communion to this operating system. Uh, step two open up uh, opens up your internal dialogue, and step three you do hygiene of consciousness every single day, uh, which is I need to translate it still. But basically, you cut off all ties, all contracts, all agreements with all entities, people. God's uh, everything. You cut it off every single day. You clean yourself like that. Yeah, but that's in a nutshell. Any any questions? Um, I have a comment. I, yeah. I think you would probably um, you might enjoy the the show um, the three body problem. Mm -hmm. I think I think you'd enjoy that show. And I've been um, another state. I've been I've been uh, I translated. You had mentioned the link to your. Um, oh, I lost what I was doing just then. But uh, the tropolarium. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Tropolarium? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been trans. I've been going through the process of translating it to English uh, to have it, but it's quite a bit to read. Uh, maybe for another time, but is is uh, what you've designed here, your new design now, what you have, is something similar to this tropolarium? Um, not too much, uh, because tropolarium is more like south-facing earthship type of oriented uh, structure, which, mm -hmm. and this is more um, practical from position of dome. Out of the dome comes a vault. Out of the vault ends a little geodesic clear greenhouse and a little cal earth half dome on the side for bathroom. So it was it's a very practical from the methods I currently know. Um uh, and it's not south orientated because after vast training, I learned that a home all south windows orientated is not a good idea because uh, we also need energy from the north. Uh, the east energy is very, very nice. That morning sunlight from the east is very, very gentle and nice. And an earthship is generally burned from the east, burned from the west, burned from the north, which is your spiritual energy, and all south-facing uh, energy, which is, uh, is open to the south only, which is Mars, which is this aggressive uh, sun, um, which causes cancer. Again, if you believe in it, but mm. they've, proven mm. it. they've proven it over thousands and thousands and thousands of cases over hundreds of years of recorded history, what they've been recording, that this vast stuff works. It wasn't the tires, that, but it was the lack of sunlight from the north. Yeah, not even the sunlight. It's just that opening, just having that opening. It should be more from the north than from the south, believe it. And nice opening from the east is very, very important. Um, that's uh, that's basically how you express yourself into the world uh, will reflect or, or will be directed by what you have from the east and especially oh. on, on the axes the axes are very important how you find your axes you need to find the center of your home how you find the center of the home the easiest way is to cut out a, fl a floor plan uh, in paper and put a pin and when it's balanced you know weight wise then then um, that's the center of the home. And from that center of the home, you draw north, east, west, south, and north, east, south, west, you know, all the ones in between, yeah? And on those axes is very important what you have or 
not like not have <laughs> like you can't have a, a surge pipe on the axis it just fucking jams the system or throughout the home um you cannot have jam like this is like message to take home it was an 80 hour live training 20 days so i'm just giving you like bits and bobs of the important ones so like the center of the home is very important to have it open so if you have like a staircase where you have like a bookshelf it just fucks the energy up completely um, people get sick, money loses. So having all windows from the south makes you lose money constantly and because you have closed from the north, nothing can come in. So uh, you keep on losing more, more, more than you're making. Um, look, I'm trying to obviously figure it out and I'll be in my internal dialogue filtering a lot of this vaster stuff of what's really, 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 really important uh according to the the you know according to the internal dialogue but i think everyone should have the internal dialogue within himself because maybe somebody then has needs to have a window a little bit here or a little bit there but um what i'm trying to say i want to simplify it because it's just like too much too much half the lectures i was sleeping because i was feeling this bullshit not applicable but um there are some important things like mirrors. Mirrors next to your bed are no go because when you're sleeping, your your spiritual, like your whole body, your whatever your energetical body is very opened and unprotected in a way. And mirrors are something that things can jump through. Um, other things that we don't want. But again, you know, with this new operating system, you just clean yourself up daily from all that horse shit and. Uh, but be that as it may, my mirror here, I've got a blanket over it. Not a blanket, I've got my jacket that's hanging over it. Um, so so there are some important things that we do need to know, that we do need to be aware of. And that's why the tropillarium would be more like um, public space. Public space, cool. You know, people come in for a day, enjoy or whatever. You know, it's different. But um, uh, Mirrors might be better in that kind of area. You know, because you have like a sport, it's like a sports, uh, like a like a place you train, a place you swim. Um, if you want to have self improvement, yeah. If you want to have, if you're not able to uh, get your wife pregnant, you'd move to a south facing room. Once you get her pregnant and uh, she, you know, she's good, then you move out of that room because it can cause a baby to have defects and stuff. But again, we need to see what's what. But that's like messages to take home. Um, yeah, uh, so I want to have a home that's all balanced. So I started drafting. Uh, there is like uh, where I want to take that by architecture is was Philip Block. Does everybody has everybody seen Philip Block stuff? That bridge that I've been sharing with you guys, Strasilarius. If you haven't, just Google now Philip Block Zaha Hadid Bridge. Philip Block, Zaha Hadid, Bridge. Uh, um, how 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 do you, uh, Zaha, Zaha Hadid, a, a, Z A H A space Hadid, H A D I, D. Ah yes, Zaha Hadid. So this is just some sketches I did whilst I was on the training. Uh, this is like a first thing. Then then I was doing this. So it's still a greenhouse, but a home has other rooms around and openings. Obviously now we have a big question like, what do we do with all that thermal mass that the airship is designed? So if you look at Zaha Hadid Bridge, then I've designed this little design that has like a bridge, but more thicker. And then obviously the greenhouses that come out on uh, all sides except west. West are closed and just have a few windows in the west. Um, that's a side view. Yeah, but it, it, in essence, a home that's um, like Vaspu home. And I still want to get to it. Uh, I, I will be getting to it and I'll be making it... Um, um, Yeah, so because then it's a, it's basically an eight eight sided. It's an octagon. It's an octagon that, like south, 
East is an amazing room space to have a kitchen, like amazing. Southeast. Um, yeah. Martha, do you have your hand up? Yeah, I wonder if you have any comments. Uh, speak up. I think your microphone is on. Is it now? Technical issue. Yeah. Uh, the off grid house, the video that you put on that earth grid off, uh, earth ship off grid house, you posted a video. If you had any comments on that, you can save that for another time if it's not. Fitting in. Oh, uh, which one? No, no. The, we're talking about bio architecture today. So, uh, it was Christine. Mm, okay, so I'll I'll get back to you, Mas, on that one. But here here is a design. Okay. Good. Basically, there is a kitchen. <clears throat> so the uh, to take away the corners, I've decided to put like little cupboards that you get in that the cupboards to 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 you know so the room is not so sharp cornered. And basically, uh, that's the vaults, like the vault, vault, and a timber vault here, like I did the one in Siberia. A space in the center is like your temple clean space, and then the bedrooms and wherever is around. So this is like a vast home that I'm trying that I'm designing, but I don't have a three D drawing for it yet. Um, when I'm in the mood, I'll I'll get I'll get to it. But in essence, I'm trying to build up a team because I'm feeling like I need other people that are gonna collaborate because the stuff is very intricate <laughs> because it's plumbing to think about there is the air systems like heating cooling um uh, and although my brain is pretty fired up i feel like i want to do this in a team effort because just more fun more fun and uh, people have bring other ideas uh, and and somebody does this somebody does that it's, you know what i mean elon musk couldn't send a rocket to space if he was doing it alone yeah martha about the uh, so the earthship uh, it i don't know i had lots of comments there on youtube which one are you talking about the one was all the pipes and airflows and stuff the I look now, it, it, someone else posted it. There was an airship off grid. Um, In so, Canada, like for Canadian climate? Or? It was warmer, yeah, cold climate. Cold climate. Yeah, there's a big interest. So I'm trying to design now. I'm trying to combine what I was doing without Vastu with my Vastu training that's filtered with my consciousness and through Christ operating system and something new is going to be born. And all I have for now is this guy because, uh, you know, because it's something that's really doable. It's got a rectangular space that we can put our rectangular couch and re rectangular table for the kitchen or wherever, like on this side. It's our dome, which is quite funky to have as an art space, maybe as an eating space, like a play space multifunctional space and you know and then this thing uh, is for bathroom and a thing and this is buildable and, and not expensive because you know you can design anything you want but we want to keep it so people can do it without debt that's like a main late motif main thread that i'm pushing is that people can build it without debt yes but and the co the comments you made today about east facing and not all south facing really yes. resonate for me yeah 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 so this is this home on that but then the question is what do we do with the thermal mass because we need the thermal mass the earthship works the way it works is because a doesn't have all these windows all around openings yeah and b um it has a hell of a lot of thermal mass this 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 berm you know which in a home like this we don't have a berm anymore because we're not burying anything but uh, if you look at Philip Block Bridge, um, you you'll see it's got these like ledges, yeah. It's got like these ledges, yeah. So I'm thinking to create that the ledges are so we're buried from the top. Um, the best to look at, I'll show you a picture now. Uh, these guys, uh, and again, I'm you know might be repeating, but it's very important. Uh, 
here, look at this. So, it, it, it's not exactly what I'm going for, but it's a very close example. Can you see? But the problem with this home is they took six years. Uh, uh, they took six years to build this thing. That's what it looks like without the earth. It was shared for a moment. I yeah, yeah. I, I, I took it away uh, I'm, because I'm trying to share you another one. Oh, okay. That's what it looks like without the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but six years, it's just like, oh, my God. I mean, can we speed this thing up? Um, so. So that that so that's what my aim is to to really ramp up the speed that the thing goes up in a week for with everything plumbing, um, obviously not finishing touches, but like. Like the bath, it just gets poured once, you know, because it's already printed or whatever. The forms are printed and uh, it's already implanted into the floor. Uh, the Ondol floor, which is your heating and cooling channels um, from South Korea, they're also already done in. Um, and yeah, so for now, until this whole 3D printing, this will be like, uh, where we're going, but until what we have, obviously this is all can be done with super Adobe filled with clay, clay and a little sand. Uh, so when the clay, the fire goes through them, you know, it's a fire channels. Yeah. Then the clay bakes and obviously becomes harder. You can't do it out of concrete because concrete with hot air cracks and breaks. And the next thing, all these channels will be, you know, uh, uh, jammed with um, pieces of concrete. So, but clay is your friend because it likes fire. Um, it's a lot of stuff to figure out. And that's why I thought, well, let me let me test out this on the floor on this guy. So I'll have the, because you need to have a, 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 a fire, not a fire, but you need to have the source of fire, which will be lower and here. And it will have channels going there then they'll go around in, in the dome and then there'll be probably like a chimney somewhere there just letting all that uh, uh, hot air out. And I can at least test uh, this stuff out. And for cooling through the same channels, I want to send cold air, which will be a few pipes underneath the ground, like the airships do those those uh, one foot diameter metal pipes, yeah? Metal because it's um, heat transferal, yeah? So, uh, you, you know, not necessarily metal because it's quite expensive, but... Uh, dig in some plastic pipes, uh, uh, lots of them underneath the ground, the, the ribbed ones, yeah, and have the cold air coming through that and ventilating out. So even if mold forms in those plastic pipes, because it might, you don't smell it. It's not the cold air that comes into the house. It's the cold air that goes underneath the floor and the floor cools down. And because of uh, a radiant... Uh, law of physics, the radiance, you know what I mean? So that slab gets cold and everything feels cold. It's like standing next to a cold stone or standing next to a hot, heated up stone at the end of the day. Um, the air is cool, but you're warm next to this big stone. You all felt it before, you know? So so, so that's the... So I thought, you know, let me do this little guy and test it out. And in terms of vast too, I'll need to first obviously find the right positioning, north-south, to see where will be good. Each room is vast to aligned, obviously. Each, this space is vast to aligned. So the way where the bed will be, uh, that will be all, uh, uh, you know. So it might be even end up like this. Like, like for example, if East Sun is the most important one, I might have this little dome actually facing the East or uh, East Southeast, for example, you know. So things like that. But when I was designing this home, I wasn't thinking about Vastu. I was thinking a practical way to have an acrete dome guy a dome, which has a little thing, which has a big thing like that. You remember the glass facade? All those acrete domes that we love, they have a big glass facade. And I thought, what if we take out of that glass facade and we extrude it out into a vault? Vault, just so we all know, um, also very cool way, Cal Earth, um, 
Olur. Ok. I mean, this is still my dream, obviously, but I need to start small that I can test it out. Pool I've tested in South Africa. But um, look, there's nothing wrong with a huge greenhouse. We just don't need to have all the huge windows in the house open and big towards the greenhouse. We can have a wall there, do you understand? Greenhouse, and we can have a wall in front of the greenhouse and maybe a few smaller windows. But then the Earthship system that all that sunlight comes into the back of the room no longer works. You know what I mean? So, but we can buy, bypass it by doing something else, having a fat pipe, black pipe on top of the greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you see this? So, having a big black pipe like this orange one here. Uh, there's a double greenhouse with polycarbonate, yeah? So it gets really hot in this between the two, but the inside here is good for plants, you know what I mean? You don't bake them. And then this hot air, we channel into the berm and we, you know, through um, this higher chimney that gets hot, <laughs> create passive sucking through this berm. So we will fill up this berm. Obviously here will be your room. Um, and the berm, uh, I mean, this berm could be, by the way, the, the burial is on top, quick fat mass, yeah? And under the floor, we have a fat mass. So the home is not buried all around, like even shown here. You know, so so I'll be do so basically all these designs that I last six years of work, which is amazing drawings that I've done with all this planning and and piping and and even tried to build it, like all of it, all these designs are almost no longer applicable. As a public space, yes, but as a, you know, now obviously I want to do, I want to find a new third. I want to find a new third because I do want to have the compost heap and it's a good shape uh, for a vessel to have it because you can have a, a front loader. Obviously not doing it on an individual scale, but even on an individual scale, it's easy to get that compost out. But if you're doing 20, 30 homes around this arco type of thingy, you know what I mean? Arco Scientia, high, higher density flats, what, what, public space, what, what, you know what I'm saying? And then we have some homes that people want to live, long-term rentals, uh, short-term rentals, uh, uh, you know, um, people who purchase prop homes, yeah, we want to sell some property, why, why not? So, you know, whatever, I'm still going to type it out. But this is a good shape for a vessel for a compost pile because you can have a front loader that comes in, scoops it out and takes it uh, elsewhere you know what i mean after it's uh, uh, you know the heat from it is is uh, uh, exhausted or whatever so i mean i love this design i mean it's really really cool but i want to and not to say i'm going to scrap all these designs these trapezoid forms will form you know so these rooms uh so there's phase phase 1 Something simple to test out, Model T, like uh, workshop style. Phase two is like a vast to home, typical with like a timber vault, uh, maybe a ferro cement vault. I'll show you now ferro cement vault from Cal Earth. And um, I mean, look at this design. I'm, I'm loving this design. I think it's fantastic to take off a geodesic and a greenhouse. Um, uh, you know, Maybe a home and a farm next to it, like a like an indoor like a aquaculture system. This would be fantastic, you know. Um, that's Arcosanti, by the way. Very inspiring. Look at all those flats that they have around amphitheater. Very very inspiring. Whole natural, a whole pool, not natural chlorine, but still. And uh, look at this method of construction. Yeah, it's very cool. Very, 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 very inspiring. But there's other things like Solar Living Institute is very inspiring as well. You know, so I'm not saying that we should just go, you know, this could be a little village of domes we build for rentals because that's another additional income. So you understand our our town, our, our community will be based on bioarchitecture production. 
So we can build these things. Uh, uh, in, like Arco Sanchi chose bells as the main product. We're going to have homes as our main product. And if we have homes as our main product, we can build and build and build more homes, more communities, more towns, and so on. That's why I chose it. Yeah. In warmer climates, we can go for like interesting bamboo stuff and what, what. But uh, that's the guys in Texas. Amazing. New type of printer they have developed. Like amazing. Amazing. Uh, um, Philip Block. Yeah. I, I was I was gonna say something about earlier you were showing that um specific uh dome and cylindrical home a few slides back. You were mm -hmm. mentioning about the step um the step a kind of um thing you were like, oh well maybe this would be a greenhouse and this would be the home portion you were mentioning thinking of. So like oh, yeah, um, like a farm a farm next to a mini like aquaculture farm to produce prawns. It, and next to a, a home and then and and if you're with the with the 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 farm a adobe home mm -hmm. you would want that facing south generally but the living space yes uh, right next yes. to it would be facing north which would be better for for yes, the feng shui. exactly so it's almost trying to merge like a vast living space with a ho a greenhouse that comes out yes that's the new third you, you're right because I, I do, and I, I want to be able to, like, I love swimming, like, even if it's not a farm, but I love swimming, and and a, a natural awesome. pool. there's no natural pools, and I could have a natural pool right out there where the farm could be, or that same natural pool can be used to grow prawns, you know what I mean? And obviously, you have microgreens and, and, and food that's being grown off fish shit, you know what I mean? And this is a vault, this, this, is, this is the vault that... Uh, this is this vault. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the method of construction for the vault. Mm -hmm. So we make one form work, one form work once, and then we, it's, I love it because um, it's one mesh, four conduit pipes to make sure that the slurry doesn't spill out forward or back. Yeah. And boom, one to five mix, five parts earth. From under your feet, provided it's sandy, and one part cement. Job done. And then uh, that's what it looks like when it's, um, you know, no uh, no rebar, like a thin mesh, which is not expensive, mixes very uh, relatively weak, and it works. Yeah, so that's, that's where I'm going with this design. Anyway, um, any questions? Uh, Jay, is the green, you're talking about the green thing? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I did it in Rhino 3D. And um, I'll show you. And then I ran it through AI, but I did draw it myself first. To give to give the AI, it was a very good collaborative effort. Uh, yeah. The program is called Look X. I'll show you now. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. So that's a that's a collaboration with AI. It's very nice. The AI thing is look X. Look X. Yeah. It comes yeah. for free, but if you pay twenty dollars a month, you obviously it ramps up the speed for you. Yeah. But gosh, I, I, that was about six hours of playing around. But yeah, it's very easy. Um, so friends, um, yeah, if anybody feels a calling to make, a, a, any form of donation, uh, I'd be, uh, uh, it will be appreciated. If not, it's also appreciated. Um, 
I'm sending the link here. Uh, you don't, you're not obliged. Uh, yeah, but I'm just putting it out there. If you feel the calling. Uh, otherwise, I want to be running this every two weeks. Just with Dubai architecture talk, like answer questions. That's the aim, you know, if people are interested. But tomorrow on Sundays, I'll be talking more about the spiritual stuff and we'll be going deeper into this work, maybe doing another, we'll be doing a prayer together and uh, just delving deeper. I'll probably go through the texts that I've sent through because it uh, it summarizes nicely there. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming through. Cool. Bye for now. We'll see you tomorrow. And yeah. Boom. Awesome. Thank you.